everybody, it's Nuri again from Diet Yarns. So today I want to teach you how to do an Andean ply bracelet. This is for if you have a single on your spindle and you want to make a two ply out of it and you don't have any bobbins or a cape to wind them off onto. You can use your hand as a winding tool to make a bracelet and ply right back onto the same spindle. Now the first thing you have to do when you're going to ply this way is to get your single off of your spindle and onto your hand. So I'm going to show you how to wind that bracelet. Alright, we have our spindle with the single wound onto it and we have the end. The first thing we're going to have to do is secure that end somewhere so we can find it later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an elastic hair tie around my wrist and stick that end right on in there and in my sleeve. Alright, now our hand becomes our peg for winding. Now we're ready to wind onto the hand. So the first thing you're going to do is your middle finger is going to be your peg in the center and your thumb and your pinky finger are going to be the outer pegs. Okay, so you're going to come up and wind around your middle finger and then come back around, back around your thumb. Now instead of going up this way, right, we're going to come around our thumb and go around the back of the wrist and come back up again. Go around the middle finger and then we go around the pinky around the back of the hand, coming up from the thumb again, around the middle finger, around the back, in front of the pinky. Alright, now what you can see when I'm doing this, every time I come in from one side, I go to the other side of the middle finger, right? I'm coming in from the thumb side, I go to the pinky side of the middle finger. Then I wrap around to the thumb side of the middle finger and come back to the thumb. Now it doesn't really matter which way you do this. You can wrap from the near side or the far side, but every time you wrap, you want to wrap from the same side so you have consistency and your bracelet doesn't twist. So now I'm just going to continue to do that until I've got all the yarn wound off the spindle and onto my hand. Here's one more thing you need to make sure of when you do this. Keep it nice and loose around your middle finger because you're going to have to slip this off your middle finger later. And you don't want to cut off your circulation. Okay? Okay, now that we've gotten some bracelet wound on, I'm going to give you a close-up so you can see what it looks like. You can see I'm starting to get overlapping loops from each side around my middle finger. And later on, we're going to pull that loop off the middle finger and put it around our wrist. Okay, I'm at the end. This is the stage I like to call Edward Fiber Hands. Because if you have this on your hand, you really can't do much else until you get it off. So, now, I'm going to take this bit that's around my middle finger, grab the whole thing, and wiggle my middle finger right out of there. very gently so it doesn't pop apart. I'm going to cinch it down onto my wrist. Okay, this is the end that I just ended with. And here's my end that we tucked under the band into my sleeve earlier. So now I have my two free ends and I'm ready to ply. Alright, I'm going to take my leader, 
my two plies, I'm going to spread them in a V, stick my leader into the middle, and then close them together. And it's very important to spin in the opposite direction when you're plying as you spun when you were making your single. So you're reversing the twist this time. All right, now we're gonna get some spin in there, connect our leader to our plies. All right, so you can see the leader is, the leader is the brown. It's spinning up in there. And there's the end of my leader. We're going to continue to spin the leader into the yarn until it's gone. And then just let the twist run up into the plies like normal. Now, when you have gotten your twist all the way up into your yarn and you have no leader left, you can simply pull your two ends and you will draw out more of the bracelet. When you're pulling out from this bracelet, you can hold it so that one ply comes off of each side of your hand. That'll help keep them separate and straight so they're not bunching up on you. And you will get a nice little two-ply yarn. It's going to be springy back on itself. Just pull it tight and wind it onto your spindle. Until you're ready for the next pull. See the loops moving through there? Now we'll take a look at it from the front. If you hit a catch where it's tight and it won't pull out, just flip your hand up into a different position. That should help you get it past its catch. Okay. So you can see we're starting to get a nice bumpy plied yarn there. Okay, the closer you get to the end of your bracelet, the more temperamental it's going to get. So you can see, I only have a few strands left. So now I have to be very careful. When I spin, I'm going to make sure I go slowly so that the little ends that pop out don't get tangled up and lost. I can do a little bit at a time, wind it onto my spindle. Do a little bit more, hold on to it, pull it back. All right, now I'm left with just a loop. We are at the end of our single. Let that twist come up into it. Now, some people don't like Andean plying because it traps any excess twist in the bend here. What you can do to get rid of that problem is to just untwist your ply a little bit, break the ends apart so you don't have a loop to trap the twist in, and let it ply into itself. Now you have a yarn that's just like a regular two ply with no loop at the end. And there we go.